In the meantime, city leaders just gave an update in the last couple of hours about the DNC, and Roseanne has more on what they had to say. Roseanne, what did you learn? That's right. Well, good morning, Sylvia. You know, safety and security are front and center with so many events and protests all throughout the city. Each morning, there will be a news briefing here from the City and Secret Service held at the OEMC office to give us a status. And that's what happened this morning. The executive director saying, we can all do our part to help keep the city safe. If you see something, say something. And that's how he kicked off today's uh, news conference. Uh, we've also seen a steady stream of protesters headed to Union Park passing by. So that's one thing to watch. And earlier, we showed you the security stepped up on the Mag Mile. That's right, even on Michigan Avenue, road closures, fencing, and additional police all around the hotels where we imagine many of the dignitaries and journalists are staying. Thousands of delegates and journalists starting their first full day. Now, Mayor Johnson said there's a reason Chicago's hosted so many national events, saying we're good at this. And he's also proud of the collaboration to keep Chicagoans safe. Our police superintendent has worked diligently, not just with our local police department, but with local departments, as well as the secret service and federal agencies for the last several months. And that collaborative approach is truly the spirit of who we are in this city. But we also could not have done this without the hard work of the everyday Chicagoans. We're expecting large protests throughout the city for the rest of the week. Uh, we're prepared for that. Um, we hope for the exact same outcome for every protest, that everyone gets to express their First Amendment rights. We don't have any incidents. If that occurs, then we've had the most successful Democratic National Convention that we can imagine. So we don't we would prefer not to have clashes. We would prefer not to have to make arrests if we don't have to. And we will avoid those things as long as we're not committing acts of vandalism or violence. Now, yesterday, we got somewhat of a preview. There was a smaller protest march, and the superintendent pointed out that everything went smoothly. He said both sides had respect for each other. That is the police keeping everybody safe and the marchers sticking to what they said they would do. He's hoping, as you heard him say there, that all the future protests, even though they involve much bigger crowds, go off just as smoothly. Back to you now in the studio, Sylvia. All right. Thanks for that, Roseanne.